Hi guys, Sport Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. I hope you guys have already seen the previous video where I described the kind of problem that we are trying to solve using the view model. So if you have not seen, please watch the previous video and then come here. So let's continue the discussion. So the problem that we are facing is the logic of managing the state of the counter is part of the view that is activity. So the solution is two step process. The first step is you have to move this logic from view to a separate class. When I say logic, I mean the counter that keeps incrementing in the thread that you have to move from the view, which is an activity to a separate class. When I say separate class, it is basically view model. And when I say view model, what I am actually saying is Jetpack's view model. So once you separate this logic from the view to a separate view model class, the second step is use Android Jetpack's view model to create an observable. Now the question is, how do we create a observable? For that, we use another Jetpack's API called as live data. Well, to understand this, how do you declare a normal variable? Going back to the example, you would have declared an integer and a counter. Well, this counter is of not much to use because we can't observe to the changes that are happening to this particular value. So instead of using integer, we use live data integer and then declare the counter. Now with this, what happens is the counter variable basically becomes observable. You can set a observer on this particular counter in the view that is activity. Before it becomes too much confusing, let's go to a demo and start implementing it. So this is the activity and this thread logic we have to separate into a separate class. So what we will do is we will create a, another Java class and we will create main activity view model and to make it easy to edit let me split the screen and now what I will do is I will create a constructor take out these instance variables related to the state management of the counter from activity to main activity view model and move this logic from on create method to the constructor this text view doesn't make any sense here so let's remove this and this also we have to remove let's write a method called as public void start counter and put the logic here and once again the stop logic now has to be moved to the view model public void stop counter so we are pretty much done with moving the logic from the main activity to the main activity view model but this particular class is not yet complete so what we will have to do is this class needs to extend view model and as i told you this is a normal integer this is not an observable so what we will do is we will create a live data of type integer and let me call it as counter and then i will use that counter and try to set the value and you will immediately see a problem. I cannot set the value to a live data and there is a reason for that. Well, the live data is immutable. That is, it is read only data. You cannot change the value that is there in the live data. So this particular data type, which you have declared as live data is best suited to be used in the view because you don't want anybody to manipulate the data in the activity or the view. However, you always want to manipulate the data inside the view model. For that, you use mutable live data. Actually, mutable live data is an extension of live data. This is read-write data. That is, you can manipulate the data that is there in the mutable live data. You should always use mutable live data within the view model. You should never expose a mutable live data to the view because accidentally someone might manipulate in the view. So let's go back to the code and change it. So instead of using live data, we will use mutable live data and to the mutable counter, we can set the value. You can see that we have two methods here, set value and post value. Set value is used if you are setting the value on the main thread and 
post value is used if you are setting the value on a separate thread since we are using a thread here it is appropriate to use post here and then let me set a value here so now this particular counter becomes observable but we need to expose this particular observable counter to the view that is main activity to do that let me create a, another method public and let me expose the counter as live data instead of mutable live data because if you expose it as a mutable live data to the main activity somebody might manipulate it so get counter and return counter so now we have a main activity view model which extends view model it has all the logic of managing the state of the counter and it is exposing the counter through this particular method now it is time to shift the action from main activity view model to the main activity now if you pay attention here my main activity extends app compat activity and if you go to the import statements it is not a normal app compat activity it is android x app compat activity this is something that you should be aware when you are working with android jetpack live data and view model you cannot use a normal app compat activity you have to use an app compat activity belonging to android x package if you already have project where you want to migrate the project from normal project to a android x project it is pretty easy to do you have to go to refactor and there is an option like migrate to android x when you do that the ide will automatically take care to move all the apis to android x package so if you already have a legacy project and you want to use the view model and live data make sure that you go through this step before you write anything so let's continue the first thing that i have to do is create main activity view model instance and then don't directly invoke the constructor there is a way to do this for that you have to use view model providers dot of this that is the current activity and then write get the class that implements the view model so it is main activity view model dot class so now we have the view model and we can use view model dot start counter when you click on the start button and in the same way when you click on the stop button you can use view model dot stop counter and then it is now finally time to set the observer that is view model dot get counter dot observe the first argument is life cycle owner so the current activity which extends app compat activity is the life cycle owner and then now you have to set new observer and when the integer value gets changed you basically want to set the value to the text view so it is text view counter dot set text counter is equal to integer so we are done with the implementation so it's time to run the code now let me run this seems like there is a problem here the problem seems to be the view model providers is not getting dissolved I think we have not added appropriate dependency in the Gradle file. Let me open the build.gradle file. Yeah, I think the problem is we have not added the dependency for the architecture components. So let me add them and let me sync it. The compilation error went away. So now let me run it. Still, there is a problem. We are getting a main activity 31 that is live data observed on a null object reference i think the problem is if you go to the main view activity this has not been initialized so let's initialize that also counter new notable live data i think that should fix the problem and now let me click on start and you can now see that the counter is increasing and now it is the moment of let me change the orientation everything seems to be working perfectly fine counter did not stop it just is continuing to count ahead so let me change the orientation again and as you can see here now once again we are not facing any problem with the counter so this is the whole idea of separating the logic from the view to a view model and then observing for the changes that are happening to the live data in the main activity through a observer we have just demonstrated one of the advantage of using the 
view model. We will continue to understand how the view model lifecycle owner live data works before we actually implement a proper MVVM architecture using these concepts. So stay tuned for the next video. That brings us to the end of this particular video. Don't forget to like, comment, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Take care. Bye.